Hey y'all, it's me, Bren. It's been a while since I've shared a video. I am going to be creating a tarot journal for my Deviant Moon tarot deck. And I thought I'd share with you um, how I'm going to go about this. This is my second um, tarot journal that I've done. Um, and I decided to do this one a little bit different than the first. I am going to be creating my own gesso and texture paste for the pages in my book um, with some other magical ingredients that uh, add some oomph to my book, <laughs> which I'll share with you later. But I wanted to show you the Deviant Moon Tarot deck book um, that I picked up from Patrick's website for inspiration. And I just want to say that I, if you have the deck, I really highly recommend this book. Um, just for inspiration, and connecting with the deck, I find it a little bit easier because there are just tons of additional images um, that I can use for inspiration and, um, in my journal, including these. And the book goes in depth um, about how he was inspired to create his cards and, you know, some background about it, um, of drawings that he did as a child and his inspiration of buildings and graveyards and things like that that uh, inspired him. Anyways, and I could pull some extra images from my own personal book as you can see. Artwork and graveyard stuff. I also went to his site and got a limited quantity of ta -da! some graveyard dirt from the graveyards that actually inspired um, Patrick and him creation of his deck and I'm going to be including this in my book in a couple of ways so stay tuned and find out how but right now I am going to share with you guys how I make um, the texture paste and gesso and I will explain in a second let me just switch the camera over hold on a second okay first of all let me tell you um, how I'm going to attempt this journal started off with um, books that I picked up brand new at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now, my first book, I did not take any pages out. Um, and this is the result, if you can see. See how fat it is? I can't even close it. There's so much stuff in there. Plus, I did not gesso the pages. I, let me show you, hold on. My first journal book. I painted them um, with watercolors and inks and markers and all kinds of stuff to give it that grungy look. This is for the Halloween tarot trick or, I mean, trick or tarot. It was my first um, book. I didn't get to finish it in time for Halloween, so I put it aside. I did a lot of work, put it aside, and I will be finishing it next year and sharing it with you next Halloween. But if you're really that interested, I mean, I can go into this. Just put comments below and I'll do another video. But I digress. Anyways, do you see how fat this is? I don't want my book, future book, to be that way. So I went to the dollar store and I bought these books for a dollar. They're hard cover. Now, a lot of people, I really wanted to use a vintage book, but I wanted the integrity of the spine. I went around to a couple thrift stores and I just could not find vintage books where the spine was still held together very well. Being that I'm going to be painting these books, now let me show you another thing why. This was a brand new book and I painted the pages and you see what happened to the spine? It got too wet and pulled away. See that? I don't want that to happen with my new book. I'm gonna have to do some repairs on this and I haven't even finished it yet, which sucks. So, I'm gonna try something different with this book and use a new book and prepare the pages with gesso. Um, first off, I took out a lot of pages. You see the difference? It's like a 300, 400 page book, something like that, let me see. It's like, yeah, 400, a 500 page book, okay? Should be plenty, right? So, for me to take out. I started with this book. Now, when I bought this book, it they had spilt like downy fabric softener on it, and I thought that I could handle it. 
and you know putting paint and all the other texture mixed media things that I'm going to be doing this I figured it would get the smell get rid of the smell but this one was just so heavily and undated with like downy smell and me I use all natural ingredients in my paints in my artwork um, as much as I possibly can and just the chemical smell I couldn't deal with it so goodbye to this one I'm gonna start over with this one I got a little bit but I can deal with that um, I also want to include a little secret hideaway area so I picked a thicker book so I can like mask off I don't know probably about a third of these pages to hold a secret yumminess that I'm gonna plan on doing so I'm gonna be using this book it's cheap dollar store but I have to remove the pages but first I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the gesso what I'm going to be doing is protecting the pages with gesso um, from paint and other mixed media uh, things that I'm going to be using in here. So, yeah, I want to protect the pages as much as I can. Um, anyways, let's get started with the gesso. Homemade gesso. I'm going to be making texture paste as well because I like to add texture. Okay. So, the first ingredient going to be using Plaster of Paris. This is just from Home Depot. It was like uh, under $10 and this will make a ton of stuff. You can use talcum powder but being that talc powder is known to with connections of cancer and things like that and I just don't want my book to smell like a baby's butt. So <laughs> I'm using Plaster of Paris with this. Um, so that's one ingredient. The second ingredient would be my magical moon water. Now, this is special moon water that I collected last year. I forget which month it was, but the moon was a blue moon in Scorpio, which is my sign. So you can bet your butt, I collected like nine bottles of this and I use it, use them in my art to give it more personal vibe with me. Connection. It's all about connection, right? <clears throat> then I'm going to be adding some cheap white or black acrylic paint. Um, it's Michael's. It's like 10 bucks, I think, for the bottle. Or if you get it on sale, you can get it for five. <clears throat> and we'll be using cheap white glue. Glue ball. Um, and extra special ingredient of graveyard dirt from Patrick's graveyards that he inspired him with his artwork. I really want to imbibe that vibe into my book journal as well. So here we go. Let's get started. Now me, I mix up my paints. I don't know if, I, if you've seen, I'm, I try to uh, go on natural of my paints I mix my own ingredients so I'm gonna start out with I'm gonna double this recipe because I want to make texture paste as well okay so I'm gonna do a half a cup of plaster of Paris now also please wear a mask when you're using these type of ingredients you don't want to be breathing in it. do as I say not as I do like I always tell my kids mixing it in here and then putting it in here. Next I'm going to add my moon water because this is an exact measurement cup. Use also a half a cup of moon water. One half cup. Thank 
you. I'm connecting with your deck. stuff because oh. well you know what my squirt bottle is stuck so I'm just gonna have to pour Ugh. one cup of acrylic paint You're smart. Mm, you can wear gloves too, but I forgot, and I couldn't find my mask either. I've used them all up. Dur -dur -dur. Get out as much of that as I can. Quick, get it. mix my own paints. Not all the time, but I make my own with um, minerals and stuff of that nature. Like, oh my goodness, my glue is... Ugh, Ugh. there we go. One half cup of white glue. room mixing thing of jiggy whisk some people like their gesso thicker some people like it thinner so yeah I think I'm gonna be adding some water to this because I don't like mine that thick Stir it up real, real good. Okay, now there's the good consistency for me. Yeah, I like that. Now, to make the textured paste, you're going to want to add to this one quarter cup of gesso you're going to use for the texture paste. So, <clears throat> I guess I'm just going to be pouring this into my gesso jar and leaving one quarter of a cup in the mixing. It's kind of hard to see, right? 
That's about under a cup, one half. Mm. I'm holding it up to the light on my window so I can see I've got like two thirds of a cup left in here. I'm going to get down to one quarter. It's about a half, so I'm going to be doubling that recipe as well for the texture paste. So there's my gesso and the texture paste. It's a quarter cup of pre made gesso, but I'm doubling this. So this is a half a cup of, yeah, a half a cup of gesso. And to that, so since I'm doubling it, it would be two cups of plaster of Paris and a half a cup of white glue. So let's see, I'll do the white glue first. The past, oh, that right? That's gonna take fill this whole jar. I'm gonna have lots of texture paste, maybe some extra. Yay! Remember, mask people, you don't want to breathe this stuff in. Do as I say, not as I do. Art is messy and fun. That's what makes it fun. Okay, two cups. As I say, not as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh, this is gonna be really textured. You can also use black paint, colored paint, to this, and I think I will be making black as well for my book. Uh, there's going to be, being that it's like graveyard inspired, I'm going to have a lot of grays and blacks and where's my whisk? There it is. Hiding back there. And I just kind of mix this up. Wow, that's a lot. Lost or platters. Oh. I think I just ruined my whisk. <laughs> yeah. How am I supposed to get that out of there? Note to self, do not use whisk when mixing texture paste. <laughs> use a stick. Thick. 
should have put gloves on too, right? Look at me. So much for planning ahead. dirt in here. Get yours before they're gone. Limited supply. <laughs> yeah, he went to um, the graveyard and inspired his work. Um, factories, an insane asylum. If you're into Patrick, you know. to his art. Anyways, there's my texture paste. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to have to add a lot of extra to this, but that's how we're getting started. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and come back for more and I will show you as pro book progresses, how I'm going to do it. And like I said, if you want to see the other journal that I made, just leave it in the comments and let me know what you think. Alright, see you guys soon. Bye.